Hi, I'm Chris Cerulli, and I'm going to tell you a couple of things about the HTC Hero from Sprint. This is the new HTC Hero from Sprint. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things about it, and uh, one of the great features on the phone, including a barcode reader and a QR barcode reader. And um, for you guys that don't know anything about this phone, this phone does read flash, just like the iPhone does. So let's get started with uh, the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you want to do if you want to, let's say you want to make a QR barcode for a flash game, so that way you can just scan the barcode and it'll go right to the game on your phone, because you can't really download a flash game to your phone, but you can download a link to it, which will take you to the uh, actual game. So what you want to do is find yourself a game that, you, uh, that you're looking for. Let's say you wanted uh, this one right here. I don't know what this is. I can't see it from here. So I click that and open it. So let's say that was the game loading screen. What you do is you go up to the top and you copy and pay, copy that URL. Whatever the name of the URL is for the game that has the flash content on it. Then you would go to a website that could generate a QR barcode. Here's a good one. HTTP QR code dot K-A-Y-W-A dot com. And it's pretty easy to use. If you don't have a barcode scanner for your Android phone, you can also download one at this website as well. It's pretty simple to use. You can uh, you have many choices for making the barcode. You can use a URL, a text, a phone number, or SMS, as you can see here. We're going to do URL, paste the URL that we just got into that box. And we just hit the button that says generate on the bottom. We just click that. And there it goes. What you want to do from this point is either you can save this in a folder of barcodes so that you know what it's going to be. Or what I'm doing is I am copying and pasting them to a word which I will print out so that way I can just have a whole bunch of games and I can just scan the barcode and it'll go right to the page. Some people don't like to um, browse the internet this way using barcodes, but uh, with barcode scanners you can actually scan products. Uh, any barcode that you can find, you can scan it and it'll run a test through the Google system and uh, give you how much the price would be for different places if you were to buy it somewhere else. That what kind of helps if you're at the store and you want to, if you're trying to buy an HP Pavilion desktop, you just scan the barcode and it'll search prices at other places. That way uh, you don't have to be driving around or searching the internet too much. So that's one good thing about having a barcode scanner on your phone. So this is how the barcode scanner would work on uh, this particular phone. Um, what you want to do is go to the main menu. Let's get out of this. We'll go to our home screen. Now if you have already installed a barcode scanner, you'd want to bring that up at this time. Um, and basically you bring up the software software is going to launch your camera, but it's also going to launch software in the background that's going to tell it that um, to, start to take a picture of the barcode. And then once it takes a picture of the barcode, you have to get it pretty good. There you go. And so it scanned the barcode and took a picture, and it's it didn't come back. So that's weird. I, the first time that happened to me. Let's try it again. I think I might have found a problem here. Um, maybe when you have them next to each other, it confuses the barcode reader, so you might not want to do it that way. But let's try uh, just a single one, just like that. Okay, so you would hit Open Browser. It would basically get the information, and as you can see, it's going to... Uh, actually, it did work before. It was my fault. I should have hit that button on the bottom. Anyway, it's going to take you to the link in which you set the uh, barcode to go to, and as you can see, it's loading on my phone right now. Um, Flash does take a little bit to load, and while it's loading, you'll see that little symbol there. I'm sure you've seen that on Windows computers. Um, so we're going to let that load real quick. And um, see how it's huge? If you double-click anywhere on the Flash, it makes it full screen, So, and that's on these Android phones. Whoops, now it said click here for 3,000 more games. I clicked there by accident. But if you don't click there, and make sure you don't click any outside links, and if you do, if you hit the back button, it'll take you right back. 
See, the thing with this is, what I'm trying to do is double click it to make it full screen, but actually I'm clicking that link that says uh, Addicting Games, and if you click that, it takes you to their website. So that's one thing you want to be careful with when you're um, using the flash on these Android phones. Um, so pretty much that's how you do that. It's going to load sound and everything. See, now I, have, now I can double click it, and um, see it's off-centered a little bit, so some games might not work correctly on every Android phone. But as you can see, I can move around, and I can see this entire picture here. This game is called uh, Escape the Coffee or something. I don't know. That's just an, this is just an example. Now, if you have any questions about QR code for Android phones, including the HTC Hero for Sprint and the HTC Hero Unlock GM, GSM or any other Android phone, feel free to send me a message, and I will help you to the best of my ability. Thank you.